Hey guys, my name is Nicktism and welcome to my corner. Now the first episode of me just talking to you did so well amongst you guys. I mean, I'm surprised really. Um, so now I'm going to just start this as a series now. Uh, just of me talking of things I, I, I see. Um, I'm going to be referring to an episode by Gamer Guy, a friend, personal friend of mine to be honest. Um, where he rips into people doing YouTube. And um, honestly, a lot of his information was clearly just wrong, but he was, I mean, he's not wrong in this sense that it is hard to get started on YouTube to be able to do this as a job. Um, first off, a few things you need to know about starting out to be a YouTuber. Um, this can also be kind of considered a continuation of uh, what it means to be a YouTuber if you want, but Basically, um, what what it takes to be a YouTuber is to get a fan base. That's a big, big deal of being a YouTuber right now. Um, in order to get the partnership program, you have to now because of uh, the whole debacle with the adpocalypse. Um, there's new requirements to be able to get ads running on your videos. Basically, all you need is one thousand subscribers. And of like over four thousand watch minutes, I think. It's it's not an easy thing to do. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but it, it makes no sense, really. Like the way YouTube decided to do it. Honestly, the reason it's so hard to be it's so hard to get monetized right now is because YouTube doesn't know what it's doing. It doesn't know what it's doing. Like. I, I don't watch Twitch at all, but I do have some sense of what they do. Basically, if you mess up on Twitch, what happens is you get banned for however long. And honestly, with what's happened with the recent adpocalypse situations, what it seems like it is, is big channel messes up, smaller channels get just executed and honestly that is super annoying it's super stupid what ne what YouTube needs to do is implement a system like what Twitch has if a big channel messes up then ban them from posting videos for a short t amount of time depending on how severe it was like for instance because what from what I know of the apocalypse situations and the, sit the reason why it happened in this most recent time, Logan Paul should have been banned from making video, from posting videos for at least a few months for what he did. And YouTube, like, Matt MatPat's done kind of a reaction video of this already. And where he, he points out that YouTube didn't do anything about it. And and they say they 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 re felt re they responded appropriately. They didn't do anything. What they did punished younger like smaller channels. It was a big channel that made the mistake. Sorry, I'm getting so fired up about this, but it makes no sense in the long scheme of things, like at all. I mean, I know, I know. Yes, it's a big channel. It gets you money, but it's just giving you bad publicity right now. It's setting up this bad stereotype for YouTubers. YouTube, if you care about your channel at your 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 platform at all, don't don't punish the young, like don't punish the people who are trying to make like get an audience who are still trying to get started. Punish the people responsible for what happened. You're punishing people who had nothing to do with the videos for for the actions of the person who made the videos. It makes no sense. They should, they should have some sort of banning policy or something. Or, I I know they sometimes terminate channel. I'm not saying Logan Paul deserves to have his channel terminated for like one mistake. Oh wait, no, he has a, done a bunch of outrageous things. He disrespected Japanese culture. He fake getting shot. Wait, what, did I say Jake Paul? They're basically the same person. They basically do the same things. It, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And they boosted. And they boosted themselves. 
they basically boosted off of each other with their own and also with their buying popularity but I'm sorry this is less about an intellectual conversation about what it means to be a channel more about what it, what YouTube should do so that it's not ridiculous to try and get just get a following I mean Yes, I kind of like the idea of watch time to prevent clickbaiting, but at the same time, like people just, excuse me, people just starting are out aren't going to get that watch time. They, they aren't, they just aren't, it's not going to happen. And meanwhile, the big channels, they're getting watch time purely because they have a lot of subscribers. I mean, I'm not saying take away, like take them out of it, the recommended pool or whatever, but there's gotta be a better system in place. There has to be something you could do to make this better. Now honestly, I'm, I'm, you could say I'm being salty because I only have like 19 subscribers now. By the way, one of my managers found out about my YouTube career because I branded them on Facebook. <laughs> but, I mean, like, I'm I'm not gonna lie, I am pretty smart. I'm not gonna say I'm the smartest guy out there, but I know how I could probably run YouTube better than people running YouTube right now because I know how to punish people and not punish people who had nothing to do with the issue. It's like, oh we're we're implementing th these new harsh like these new requirements so that the wrong people don't get advertised. The wrong people are already getting advertised, and they don't, they already surpass the the requirements you put in place. I'm not saying make them harder, because that'd be ridiculous. I'm just saying that instead of punishing the plat the people on the platform as a whole, you should punish the people who actually did the thing that you're mad about. That you should be mad about. You should be punishing them. And, and gamer guy was like, oh, you need like a million views. It's not that. It's not. You need at least a thousand, four thousand watch minutes. And that is ridiculous to a, to a degree. And it's all because of what Logan Paul did. He filmed a dead body. A guy who committed suicide. Think about that. Like a guy already felt bad enough about his life that he wanted to take it. And you're going to videotape him. You went to a place that was known as a suicide forest. Okay? Assuming, like, unless someone had been there for a while for that reason, because, like, it, it got that name for a reason, obviously. And if you're going to try and claim, I don't know what, what his reasoning is, like, what, it, what excuse he tried to pull. Like, I've, I've seen this Twitter, uh, Twitter post, like, being pulled up in certain videos where Logan Paul, I, I think it's a fake account. I don't think he would actually do something like that, or he'd try and act that dumb. But it's basically it's supposed to look like Logan Paul's Twitter account, and it's him saying, I didn't realize people who committed suicide kill themselves. Let that sink in. This is one of the people, this is one of the people who are one of the biggest channels in YouTube. Like, people are going to think he's some kind of role model. I'm not going to lie. There's probably people out there who want to be like Logan Paul. Do you really, really want to be like someone like that? I have to sincerely ask you that. Like, I'm not saying you should just watch people you want to be like. But at least, like, if you're going to choose someone you want to be like, don't be like Logan Paul. Okay? Don't be like one of the Paul brothers. Like... I think it was Jake Paul that went to a wedding and just was disrespecting the ceremony. Like seriously, if, if, I, if I had been there, I would have been. I would have gone up to him and I would have been like, "You have to go. You have to go. If you're not going to respect this, you don't. Be, you don't belong here." Like it's ridiculous. They act ridiculous on purpose and get famous for it. And YouTube does nothing to stop it. That's that's the biggest issue of all of it, really. That YouTube doesn't do anything to stop it. And what they do do... Sorry, I have to... What they do 
punishes people who have nothing to do with the issue. Yes, it is hard to be a YouTuber uh, gamer guy, Nick Breaking Games, I don't know what, but it, this doesn't have to be this way. If YouTubers just learn how to do what they are doing, then maybe it would be easier for all of us. Maybe we'll go back to the glory days of YouTube sometime once YouTube gets their act together and knows what they're doing. Maybe we can go back to glory days where you don't have to have a bunch of subscribers. I mean, obviously there has to be some sort of requirements to be able to get partnered. But I mean, it shouldn't be this hard. It shouldn't be this hard. And I wish YouTube would do more to help small channels. I mean, there's TubeBuddy, but I don't know how affiliated with with YouTube, there are they are. And if you don't know what GPuddy is, it's this app that um basically helps you with tagging your videos and stuff, and creating thumbnails and things like that. Um, and uh, basically, they have this channel that gives you advice about how you should do YouTube and things like that. They have a bunch of other bunch of different people coming on to do live streams and stuff. Uh, they have Nick Nimmin, Dustin people like that to just give you advice and um frankly i think that's really cool i i think that's really nice but i mean youtube just doesn't know what it's doing it really doesn't you can argue with me if you want i'd like to hear what you think they should do or if you think they're doing the right thing and i want to hear your explanation as to why you think they're doing the right thing because it was a big channel that messed up and the Small channels are getting punished for it, so I'd like to hear what you have to say about that. I'd really like to hear it. <sighs> that being said, I've been going on about this for a while. It's been, basically been been a rant. Not what I want for Nick Tizen's Corner, but I just felt like I needed to say this. Because I saw like my friend complaining about this, being like, Oh, you have, you have to be an idiot to try and get big on YouTube. Like, the people who did this got very lucky. They probably worked really hard. There was probably an element of luck to it, but to discount the hard work they did, it it, it would be so much better if you two, I don't know, discussed what they were going to do before they did it with the community, not just go out and do something that makes absolutely no sense in the long run. That's just my take on things. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please share this video. Please get this for the word out that uh, just maybe maybe we can get a system like Twitch has in which people can get banned for doing something re like completely outrageous and unacceptable like filming a dead body of a person who committed suicide or faking getting shot in front of your fans. I just, it makes no sense that someone like that can exist in this world. It makes no sense that someone like that got big, got famous on the internet. It makes no sense. They're horrible people. They, there's something wrong with them. There's literally something wrong with it. They're just doing this for fame. I want to actually make a positive impact, but I can't do that when I have no subscribers. Whatever. I'm, I'm just... Look, Nick, I don't know what your intentions were when you started your channel. Just don't give up, man. Just don't give up with it. I, I have a feeling you're going to get big someday. You're my friend, and I believe in you. I hope you believe in me. I know you called me out in your video, which was kind of uncool, especially when you noted autism. Could, never mind. But... You know, if you don't think I can do it, the only thing I have to say is watch me. Just watch me. I'm going to do it. I'm going to surpass PewDiePie. Just wait. But that's all I have to say about it for now, guys. Um, Thank you so much for watching. If you did, I really pretty appreciate it. And until next time, guys, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Share this with your friends. Share this with just anyone. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. Just get the word out that, and hopefully this will catch YouTube's ears, and they'll they'll this will give them an idea like, 
huh, maybe we should have a banning system like on Twitch. But anyways, until next time, guys, I will see you all later. Bye-bye!